Hey there, I'm Joe Carter. If you've ever popped the hood and thought, where do I even start? You're in good company. Around here, we take the mystery out of car repair, one fix at a time. Whether you're a beginner or just looking to sharpen your skills, there's something here for you. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're into learning without the headaches. All right, that's enough from me. Let's get into it. viscosity level. When engine oil becomes too viscous, the oil pump is unable to pump enough volume to pressurize the lubrication system. More often than not, the cause of a burning light is a significant overestimation of the engine oil's operating life. Also, the oil pressure light can burn because of the wrong viscosity grade. This is the SAE specification, which shows how the viscosity of compositions changes with decreasing or increasing temperature. Oil that is too viscous or too thin will affect the pressure in the system. But emulsion in the engine can do much more damage to the system. Sensor malfunction if the contacts do not open after the engine is started, the instrument panel light will remain on. Sometimes the cause of the light is a leaking sensor. Therefore, be sure to look for oil dripping from it after starting the engine. Earlier we have already considered where the oil pressure sensor is located and how to check it. Also in the article we considered the device and the principle of turning on the bulb. Do not exclude from the list of reasons for the lamp to light up problems with the sensor's power supply circuit. If the low oil pressure indicator lights up sporadically, it is likely that the power wire is shorted to the mass. Inspect the wire insulation to determine the cause. Try unplugging the sensor wiring harness, turn on the ignition, and move the harness through which the sensor wire runs. At the moment of shorting to ground, the light will blink. Before checking the sensor oil pump with a mechanical manometer, we recommend to refer to the repair and operation manual of your vehicle. There you will find information about the operating pressure in the oil system of your car model. Oil pump what faults lead to a drop in oil pump performance? Worn drive shaft splines. Quite a typical breakdown for VAZ cars, the splines are often slipped increased clearance between idler and drive pinions, where of the working area of the oil pump housing, increased gap between the plane of the gears and the cover. Due to critical wear, the oil pump is unable to create vacuum in the suction cavity and normal pressure in the oil lines. The cause of the light is eliminated by replacing the oil pump with a new one or installing a less worn used unit. For a better understanding of the cause of the malfunction, we recommend studying the principle of operation of the engine oil pump. Also earlier we have previously considered in detail the disassembly and effective disassembly of the oil pump. The ability to check the pump with your own hands will be extremely useful if you buy a used part or do not have confidence in the manufacturer of a new unit. Lamp lights up, blinks at idle speed and on hot the drive gear of the oil pump rotates from the crankshaft. At idle speed, the crankshaft rotation speed is minimal, so the performance of the oil pump drops. It is in this mode that a worn pump, clogged oil receiver screen, too viscous or liquid oil will cause the oil pressure warning light to come on. The reason the oil pressure light comes on when the engine is hot is that as the temperature rises, the oil becomes less viscous. Therefore, it will leak more oil through the gaps caused by wear and tear. What happens if you keep driving the pressure drop leads to all starvation at the contact points of the rubbing pairs? This results in wear of camshafts, cylinder walls and crankshaft journals. Most often crankshaft liners are the first to give up under the pressure of dry friction. Due to overheating, they are welded to the crankshaft and rotate in their beds. A knocking sound is a clear sign that the engine is about to be overhauled. Oil pressure light stays on for a long time after starting. Why does the oil pressure light stay on for the first few seconds after starting a cold engine? Such symptoms can indicate both the initial stage of the causes described above and the improper operation of the oil filter. Automotive filters are designed with a check valve that prevents oil from draining into the oil pan when the engine is shut off. This allows the pump to build working pressure in all passages almost instantaneously. If the valve malfunctions and oil drains into the sump during idle, the light will not go off until the oil pump refills the system. 
How quickly this happens depends on the degree of wear on the oil pump and the viscosity of the composition poured into the engine. Relief valve In addition to the check valve, the design of the oil filter includes a bypass valve. Its principle of operation allows viscous oil to bypass the filter element. If the filter manufacturer incorrectly calculates the force of the spring element, the valve will not open in time, preventing the free flow of oil into the channels of the lubrication system after starting a cold engine. The malfunction is quite rare and occurs in the case of an outright fake oil filter. In conclusion, if the oil pressure light on your dashboard illuminates or blinks, it is crucial to take immediate action and refrain from operating the vehicle. This warning indicates a potential issue with the lubrication system, which could lead to severe engine damage if ignored. Typically, the oil pressure should be within a range of 20 to 60 psi at idle, depending on the vehicle. Always consult your owner's manual for specific pressure guidelines and seek professional assistance to diagnose and resolve any underlying problems. Prioritizing your vehicle's health can save you from costly repairs and ensure safe driving.